What's going on everybody? Today in this video, I'm taking you guys along with me in spray printing t-shirts literally from start to finish. Zero steps missed from coating the screens with emotion, getting them exposed, printing the transparency films, getting the ink mixed up and loading it up onto the press and doing a multicolor registered print and everything from start to finish. What's going on everybody? My name is Bob from Aesthetic Imprints and I run a custom apparel screen printing and embroidery company all out of my parents' basement. So without further ado, let's go coat those screens. First things first, I ran out of emulsion, just got some new bats in and we're using the base layer emulsion free plug for Ryanet, but this is the emulsion that I use. Um, if you want an in-depth version of how to coat the screens, how this emulsion works, or how even the screen process works, check this video out in this corner because I have a video made specifically dedicated to this and coating screens and getting screens coated, exposed, and ready to go. So let's go coat these screens. All right, now it's time to go ahead and get these screens coated right here. I got some screens right here that need to be coated, so I'm gonna pop open that emulsion and get to it. All right, now how I expose my screen is pretty simple. I just grab the empty screens, got my rack right here, got my scoop coater right here filled with emulsion, and I start from the outside. Do a layer of emulsion. To scoop the excess off the edges, flip it over and do the ink side. Scoop the excess like the edges. And there you have perfectly coated screen. Then you just throw it in here and let it dry. And now I'm gonna do the rest. And just like that, we got a full rack of screens. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry and we'll go from there. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and start mixing up some pens on colors while those screens dry. Um, and yeah, so right here, I'm just adding those colors and I got my formula sheets right there next to me. So I can mix the colors to the exact pen tone ratio that I need. Now take a guess, what is this gonna mix? That looks so cool, that's so satisfying. As you can see, that's like a pink color that we just mixed up right there. It's a vibrant and nice pink. I'm loving that pink. And next up, we got another color. Now, I do have to mix three Pantone colors. I have two of them already made, but I had to mix three more because I didn't have these so I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up add in the things when you add too much you got to take out some to struggle but I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that up now let's play a little game I want you guys to guess what this color is gonna make up based on the inks that I'm adding what do you think this ink is gonna make up take a guess in your head right now before I mix it got navy blue yellow black and white let's see this is the best part I love when it has that little effect to it and then it comes and makes that color and boom it's like a I don't know what you would call this color it's just fire for sure and now we got another color we got to make up, mix up. I said make up, but we got the pink, and we and then we got that greenish. I'd say like a light green, dark greenish. 
and now we're gonna mix another color as you can see it's the last formula sheet so if you didn't get the first one right let's take a guess on this one see what this is gonna be let me know down actually just say it in your head let me know what you think this is gonna be it's yellow blue orange and white let me know let's take a quick guess and let's mix it And as you can see, this one's turning into like a creamish color. So this is basically supposed to be the skin of the person that we're gonna be screen printing. So this is like a little tannish, creamish colorway for the skin. All right, and now it's time to go ahead and print out these separations and get that ready so we can make the screens because the screens are pretty much dry now. Now, I know I'm going to get that question of can you show us how to do separations or can you make a video on how to do separations? I'm not the man for that. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm not good at separations. That's not my strong side of the business. And I just don't really like doing those intricate separations. So I'd rather just send it out and have a professional or somebody who does it all day and is good at it do it. Now I'm gonna give you guys my personal contact on who does my separations. Here is his Instagram, his name is Yoga. He does some killer work. He does majority of all my separations right now and he does a killer work. So if you need separations, reach out to him. He'll get the job done for you at a very affordable price. Reach out to him. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get all these printed and then we're going to burn the screens. Alright, now what I do is just grab my transparency film positives. Go ahead and tape up each corner so we can throw it onto the screen. This is basically how it all gets exposed in case you don't know. And I'm just going to go ahead and line it up right here to that center mark and I'm going to line up each and every film there so now grab my screen got my screen now I just line it up to the corners and drop it and what that does is stick it and just like that Good. Here we go. And now it's just going to go ahead and expose. I have a 20 second exposure, so it'll be done in 20 seconds. And then we just take the film out, take the screen out, and go to the washout booth. Like that, it's done. We take it out, pop our film out. Go. And welcome to the washout booth. As you can see, this is a backlit washout booth. So what that basically means is I have a light right behind it. So this helps during exposure. So now let's go ahead and rinse the screen, get it wet. Let's bring you guys closer. As you can see, just by me getting the screen wet, you can see the design is already starting to pop up. Now one tip I have when you're having difficulties having this image area fall out when you go to expose is just get it wet like this, let it sit for like 10 to 30 seconds. So let that water soak into the emulsion and then come back and spray it with the pressure washer. So now that it sat for a little bit, I come in. And it's as easy as that. I happen to have compressed air so it helps to knock the water out.
air drying, I threw a fan on them to speed up the process and it's just gonna go from there. But, but like I said, I'm taking you guys along with me step by step in this screen print process from start to finish. So we just got all the screens made. You guys saw the little time lapse of the whole process of the screens. And yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and let that dry. And if you didn't know, this is like my screen room area. The printer's right there, the exposure. That's where I set it all up. And then my screens are right here. And that room right there is where I just was, where my washout booth is and everything happened there. So let's wait for those to dry and I'll see you in the next shot. Give this video a thumbs up because I'm putting an effort for y'all. All right, now the screens are all dried up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and load it up onto the press. Now this is a six color print, so we got six screens, and we got exactly six um, colors on here. So I'm gonna load it up on here. Four, three, two, Now you want to make sure you're loading it up on here the way you want to print. So don't put it so that you're printing the first color here and then you're going to print the second color all the way over here. It's just going to throw you off rhythm because the way you want to do it is first color, boom, second, boom. You want it to go all in a flow. It's kind of like Lego pieces. So now that you got your Lego pieces, which is the screens, we got to put it all together and get it registered to make the product. So. I'm gonna go ahead and register it. What I like to do is place my transparency sheet right here and register all six screens to this spot. So let's get after it. All right, now this is probably one of the most tedious parts about the screen print industry, especially if you're manually printing because you gotta go ahead and register these six color designs all to the same spot and get it so that it's landing in the same spot or else your image is just gonna be screwed and not make the outcome you want. So be patient, take your time, keep going at it. You got this. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the corner and so that no ink is gonna escape the string. This is essential. And this, this PMI tape is a game changer because it comes extra big to be able to cover the sidewall and it's a game changer. Now I used to use just regular masking tape and just do double tape. So I do one tape here and then do another tape for the sidewall. And that would just have me running through tape like it was water. Like I was going through too many of that and it gets costly. And this, that was a fail. But this, you just lay four pieces and it covers the side. Oh my God. I'm gonna keep this live and raw. But this, you basically just, All right, there we go. This, you basically just lay down and it covers the sidewall in and of itself. All right, everybody, now that we got everything registered and I got all the shirts right here checked in, we're gonna be printing on some made blank t-shirts right here. So we got about a hundred shirts. So let's start doing some test prints to make sure everything is registered. So let's load the ink on. <laughs>
everybody. We are finally ready for production. Here's the first test sample. As you can see, that looks beautiful. Now, I'm not gonna lie. There was some um, issues happening and that was due to the skin color. At first, it was just coming out a bit too yellow. As you can see, that's just a bit too yellow for me and it wasn't quite matching. And then I did some adjustments right here and it got a little better, but not all the way better. So I added some more adjustments to the color and now it looks like the perfect skin color and everything turned out fire. I added some pink in there. Shout out to Yoga for helping out and giving me that advice because he doesn't just do separations. He's going to help you get your prints right as well. He's He knows his stuff. I'd highly reach out to him for your separation work, but now that everything looks good, just remember, we don't push any product out this door. It has to be a good print. It has to match what the customer wants. It has to just overall be the exact results that the customer wants and the design is supposed to be. So without further ado, let's begin full production. everybody i finally finished up all these shirts as you can see it's hot down here i'm sweating but we got the job done everything is done looks fire and yep everybody we got all the shirts done and we went ahead and got the retail finished look we got the folded and poly bag and this just completes the entire package as you can see it just makes it 10 times better and makes it a lot more presentable now these aren't your ordinary you know what let me show you there's a big difference between the poly bags i use which is these nice clear shiny poly bags in the ordinary u-line wholesale or whatever cheap wholesale poly bags you can get out there there's a big difference in these bags this looks a lot more presentable than using something that's just this anyways if you guys enjoyed this video and you need custom apparel go ahead and reach out to me at aesthetic imprints or follow me on my instagram account for aesthetic imprints and everything print related what i'm working on and the customers i work on and everything related to that you can contact me there 
if you enjoyed this video give this video a big thumbs up subscribe join the family join the grind and also i had the privilege of being on the shirt show which is a screen print podcast i highly recommend you guys check that out i'll put a link in the description check out my episode with them show some love on there and other than that i'll see you on the next one peace side note before you send out your boxes have a little pad right there so that when the customer or whoever slices open this box they're not ripping right onto the shirt because trust me i've had that happen as you can see when i open this shirt that blade right there could have cut up all the shirts but instead you know when companies and anybody uses the right cautions just tape it up like that and then you're saving on shirts and you're saving your customer's life Thank you.